Let's multiply rational expressions. For example, let's multiply these two rational expressions and simplify our answer. Now, when multiplying rational expressions, we proceed in the same way as we do when we multiply numerical fractions. That is, we multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators. which gives us 9 times 4 is 36, and then we have times b times y cubed, all divided by 8 times 3 is 24, and then times b, and then times y times y, which is y squared. Now 24 and 36 are both divisible by 12, which means after simplifying, we'll have a 2 left here and a 3 left here. And we can also cancel these b's. And we're assuming here, of course, that b does not equal 0. And finally, we can cancel two of the y's, which would leave us with one y in the numerator. And also, we're assuming here that y does not equal 0. Therefore, our answer is 3 times y, all divided by 2. Let's look at another example. Let's multiply these two rational expressions. Again, we multiply the numerators. So x plus 1 times x squared minus 4x plus 3 divided by x squared minus x minus 6 times 4x plus 4. And now let's factor. We still have this x plus 1. But the second term in the numerator factors into x minus 3 times x minus 1. And this first term in the denominator factors into x minus 3 times x plus 2. And finally, from this last term in the denominator, we can factor out a 4. And we're left with x plus 1. Now we can cancel these x plus 1s. And we're assuming x does not equal negative 1, as well as these x minus 3s. And we're assuming as well that x does not equal 3, which leaves us with our answer of x minus 1 divided by, and don't forget that 4 in the denominator, it's 4 times x plus 2. And this is how we multiply rational expressions. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.